Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be studying 2D NMR spectroscopy techniques APT and INEPT. In the previous uploads, I have already discussed four 2D NMR spectroscopy techniques. If you want to study them, you can go through the channel and study those techniques of 2D NMR spectroscopy. APT attached proton test the attached proton test APT experiment is a common way to assign carbon hydrogen multiplicities in 13 C NMR spectra it provides the information on all sorts of carbons within one experiment depending on number of hydrogens bound to a carbon suppose n CHN spin vectors evolve differently after the initial pulse. So, jitne number of hydrogens attached honge ek carbon se, usse pe depend karega ki kaisa spectrum obtain hoga. If delay is set to 1 upon j, CH and CH3 vectors opposite phases compared to C and CH2 peaks. In simple APT spectrum, the bottom spectrum is a normal acquisition of 13C NMR spectrum. In the middle spectrum, a delay time T1 of 1 upon J has been applied leading to positive carbon and CH2 signals and negative CH and CH3 signals. In the top spectrum, a delay of 0 0.5 upon J to give a spectrum showing only quaternary carbons. So here's the signal, how the signal of this compound is obtained in APT. Now let us study about another 2D NMR spectroscopy technique INEPT insensitive nuclei enhanced by polarization transfer it is an application of programmed sequence of pulse to the proton spectrum and to the spectrum of heteronucleus X such as 13 C carbon based on heteronuclear pulse sequence and similar to technique such as DEPT. It enhances the intensity of signals pertaining to protonated atoms, heteronuclear spectrum by factor of VH upon VX that is factor of 3.95 for 13C and about 10 for 15N. The experiments can be designed to change selectively by the amplitude of the signal in the X spectrum belonging to XH, XH2, XH3 groups by suitable choice of delay of tau in INEPT. It is a signal resolution enhancement method used in NMR spectroscopy. It involves the transfer of nuclear spin polarization from spin with larger Boltzmann population differences to nucleus spin of interest with low Boltzmann population difference. So here are two examples of INEPT spectrum. First is the example of benzene. We can see the comparison between two different spectrums where INEPT technique is used and when there is no use of INEPT, then there is an unenhanced spectrum is obtained and through INEPT, a better clear enhanced spectrum is seen. Another example is of 1,2-dibromobutane. Its spectrum is obtained like that shown in the figure. I hope you found this useful. Thank you.